Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Thursday the 24th of August 2023, evening time. It's a time for my uh, Sudoku at bedtime game, although it's not quite bedtime yet. Um, but by the time I post this uh, on the internet, it will be, I'm sure. But it is evening here, certainly in Bangkok. Um, news is that the BRICS nation, that's Brazil, Russia, India, India, China and South Africa, have decided they are going to allow new countries to join their little club, or quite big club. But when I read you the list of countries, you'll go, huh? Well, I suspect you will. Anyway, there, I mean, they, obviously, there's no geographical link between Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa. It doesn't make any sense in terms of ge geography. It's not like the EU or something or, uh, you know, um, the Americas or something like that, you know, like a North and South America joining together. Um, it, it, it doesn't make it doesn't make any sense anyway from that point of view. But they were. Um, kind of secondary economies, emerging economies that were uh, have large populations and the potential for growth. I mean, they all have large populations and the potential for growth, right? Um, so, and it kind of uh, could be a, a reasonable grouping uh, that's not the West, and I'm doing air quotes around the West here, you know, it's uh, interesting. Uh, some kind of um, competition could be uh, seen against the EU or maybe uh, the USA, etc. Um, but the countries that are going to join are Argentina, Ethiopia, Iran, Saudi Arabia, Egypt and the UAE. What a strange list that is. I mean, certainly the UAE can't claim to have a large population, can it? It's got quite a lot of cash, I suppose, but um, strange. Ethiopia? I'm not quite sure if that is an emerging emerging economy or not, um, to the size that's, that, that comes anywhere close to any of the others that are mentioned. So um, rather a strange grouping there. Um, <laughs> I think it could maybe just be more political than... Um, than economic, um, which is which was the original intention was that it would be economic. Um, so, hmm, strange. I guess we'll monitor and see what happens. Okay, uh, my late night Sudoku game is going to be the Los Angeles Times hard level game. Uh, regulars to the channel will know that this game is sometimes tougher, not always, sometimes tougher than the expert level game for no apparent reason, but it just sometimes is, and sometimes it's not. So uh, we'll get on with this game, shall we? Uh, let's jump into it with the sevens blocking like this and across, giving me a seven there, sevens going across here and putting a seven in that square. We've also got sevens going up here like so if I can hold down the right keys today we'll get seven there and we've got sevens going across across and up here is a seven and I think there's only one block to go so that means we can get it for sure sevens blocking oops come on yeah yes that was the final digit seven so there we go uh, right haven't even had a chance to look at any digits yet. Just spotted that seven and that's away we go. Let's click away from the seven. It's distracting. We have nine blocking across here now. So let's get a nine there. We've got nines going back in this direction and a nine up here. So. We'll place a nine there. We have nine going up here, up here, and across there, meaning that's our nine. We have three down here, up here, and across here, so we will get a three that square. Yeah. 
and three and nine blocking down here three and nine blocking down here and three and nine blocking across here so we do have a pair of three and nine here i don't know what that means yet but i do know that we have three and nine there let's see if we can find out what it means we've got one blocking across here actually we've got ones up there one Two, two, four, Um, I can't work it out. <laughs> it's going to be one of those days. Um, but what I can do instead is one blocks across here. So one is in one of these squares. So one and six block down here. So this would be one and six. So I can at least say that that will be five. Um, and then five blocks up here and five blocks up here that will give me a five there so when you can't do what what you want do something else <laughs> I think uh, is useful Sudoku advice six okay so we've got eight blocking across here and across here that will give me an eight there Eight blocking up here and eight across here gives me an eight there. Oh yeah, one blocking down here and one across here means that one is in one of these two squares. So we'll extend the ones right across here like this. Now, as I said before, one blocks here. So one is in one of these two squares blocking down. So that will be our digit one in that column. And then the one blocks up here that will give us the one there. And the missing digit here is a six. And the last number to get down here is, a, is what? <laughs> Uh, and eight eight blocks across here and eight blocks down here that will give me an eight in that square eight across here across here and down there that means there's an eight eight blocking across here across here and one up there means eight is now out of the way Missing numbers across here, two, three, four. We've got two and three in this column. That has to be a four. Four down here, four up here. There's the four. Mm. 
one and four blocking here so that's one and four this then will be our two uh, one number to get in this row which is three three blocking down here and our three across here puts three in one of these two squares blocking back up three across there there's our three Uh, earlier on I said 3 and 9 blocking down here, didn't I? 3 and 9 blocking down here. That gave me a pair of 3 and 9. And now I must be able to get this here because up here we know this is 1 and 4. And we know this is 3 and 9. And so here will be our 2. Um, seven and eight are finished. The others are still to be had. Oh, I hear my cat meowing. Five across here, five across here, five down here. There's five, five to the bottom here. That gives me five in that square. Five across here means five goes there. It looks like we're going to finish the fives as well. There we go. Uh, four blocks across here, so that puts four into one of these two squares. So the four is blocking all the way across here. That will give me a four there. The last number to place here. Um, is it a no? No, it's not a nine. What is it? F oh, six. Okay, six this way, six that way. There's our six. Okay, one up here and one across there gives me the one there. One back this way means that's a one. This will be a six. Six is blocking to the top here. Gives me a six there. One number to get down here, which is, I almost said a four, but I would have been wrong. I think it's a two actually, isn't it? Two and also the two blocking up here gives me the two there. This will be a nine. Nine blocks down here, that will get means this is a nine, this square here is a one. Um, not much more to do now. It hasn't turned out to be a game more difficult than the expert level today. As I said, sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. Uh, missing number here is a six. Six is blocking up here like this. Six is there. Um, two across here puts the two in that square, two up here and two across there means there is our two, two down here puts the two there, this is a four, four blocking up here puts four in that square, four across here gives us a four there with a one there and a one there.
The last number to place down here is a three. Three blocks all the way across here, giving us a three there. We're looking for a nine in this square. And here we need a four to finish. That's our hard level game, but not particularly hard today, of the Los Angeles Times. Thank you very much. Sleep well if you're about to sleep, whether it's nighttime or an afternoon nap where you are. Um, as I say, it's bedtime here. So I'll see you again um, tomorrow. Bye bye.